So what do the gamblers think are the chances that they think most likely, as a reminder, right now there's 271,000 cases. Gamblers think there's a 65% chance that we will go from 270,000 to over 500,000. And then some one in th- think there's a one in three chance that we will actually hit over a million cases in the U.S. That's nuts. Um, and then most people do not think that we will be uh, less than 500,000. There's only a 1% chance that we will uh, only double the number of cases. And no one thinks we're going to have less, less cases than we do today. So that's what the gamblers think. They're basically thinking that it's going to be somewhere between 500,000 and a million cases in the next two weeks, which would be somewhere between double and 4x the number of cases that we have uh, today in America. Now, the gamblers think that worldwide, and as a reminder, right now, worldwide, we have 1 million cases, okay? That's that's a fact today, confirmed cases. Most gamblers are assuming that we're actually, by the end of April, going to have 5 to 10 million cases, okay? So we're right now at 1 million And gamblers are assuming in four weeks will be at least 5 million. Okay. And and unfortunately, these betting markets are pretty accurate uh, because, you know, basically there's an incentive to try and be right here. And most people, now the good news is only the gamblers only think there's a one in four chance that we will have more than 10 million people. So most people do not think that we will have 10 times the the cases that we do today, but at the end of the month globally. I mean, if you imagine 10 million, just think about that. If we had 10 million and it's a 2% mortality rate, that's 200,000 deaths due to this virus in in a month, 200,000. That's just sick. Um, so, yeah. All right. So those are the, the those are the betting odds on the spread of this. Um, and recession. I'm pretty much sure the gamblers are thinking that we're going to have a recession. You know, way back when, in end of uh, Feb. Most people did not think we were going to have a recession. Now, gamblers are thinking there's a 94% chance that we're going to have a recession. Oh, my God. I wish I had better news for you guys. Um, it's just, it's hard, man. It's hard to think about. Even though we're trying to, to aggregate this data, It's just, it's it's terrible. Now, Cali Killer Clown is saying, hey, don't worry, man. There was 50 million deaths with the Spanish flu. That's okay. Okay. That's true. Um, But I don't know, man. I still don't want to see hundreds of thousands of people die in a month for no reason. Um, Yeah. I mean, like, you know, in the U.S., we are at a point where there's freaking a thousand new people dying every day and it keeps going up. That is a new 9-11, a new World Trade Center coming down every three days, guys. This is serious stuff. Um, I know there's a lot of other ways people die. um, But. This is in addition to all the other ways people die. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Here's an interesting uh, stat. 
Here's an interesting stat. This I found very uh, encouraging. So this is just a few days ago. Germany uh, is treating 7,000 uh, patients. And they tell you how many are in ICU and how many require ventilation. Pretty much everyone in ICU, 1,100 out of 1,500, require ventilation. Now, the Germans are very open about the total number of ventilation units they have. So they've increased it to 30,000, and they're hoping to double it uh, to 40,000. So right now, they are using 1,000, and they have capacity to go to 30,000. Now, here's a question for you guys. Do you know how many ventilators America has and America needs? No one freaking knows. They will not. If you watch these press conferences, they won't say it. What they'll say is like, oh, you know, we're getting Ford GM to make a thousand ventilators. It's like, yeah, well, how many do we need? It's no point to tell you there are more ventilators being made like few hundred if we need like 10,000 telling me we have an extra few hundred doesn't really help if we need 50,000 telling me you know we have even a thousand new ones doesn't really help so this gets me to um a petition that if you haven't signed i i want to encourage you to to consider it it's on change.org and basically, I am trying to get the answers to these three very simple questions. Okay. Number one, what is our current ICU and ventilator capacity nationally? What do we project will be the demand in six weeks? And what are we going to do to reconcile number one and number two? Please provide milestones and measurable outcomes. This seems like a very logical expectation that you would think the task force would show you like, okay, this is what we have. This is what we need. This is how close we're getting to our goal of meeting it. But they don't, they don't do that. And I think they don't do that because they don't want to be held accountable. So if you agree with asking for this data, the uh, URL of this is tinyurl.com slash three dash questions. So you go there, tinyurl.com slash three dash questions. And right now, let's see, right now we've got 376 people that have signed it and we are streaming to about a hundred. So we could probably get to 500 if everybody listening to this right now goes to tinyurl.com and uh, slash three dash questions and uh, just goes goes and signs that petition. Uh, obviously, I'm not expecting uh, Trump to answer my petition, but I am hoping to get the press to uh, ask him every day. What's our capacity? What's the demand? What are you doing to reconcile number one and number two? You know, it's not that. It's not a trick question, man. Just answer the freaking question. So, anyway, any rate, um, that is my petition. Please, please consider signing it. We're at 376 right now. We'd love to get to 500. And uh, if you support us, uh, we'll get some more accountability from our government, which is always a good thing, especially when they spend $2 trillion. Like, that's another thing. You saw those hospital charts, right? You know, we spent, we got this darn stimulus of $2 trillion, but only $100 billion of it went to uh, hospitals and medical care. So only about five or six cents on the dollar of this $2 trillion package went to healthcare in the middle of a pandemic where uh, many states are not going to have enough 
uh, hospital beds and ventilators. And yet almost a quarter, oh no, I think it's, yeah, I think it's like a quarter, one out of every $4 went to corporations. So there you go. That's that stimulus plan.